So here we are in um, Dr. Sherdev's operating theatre in Sofia in Bulgaria. And what we're looking at today is a practically atraumatic bloodless method of doing a rhinoplasty, particularly for people who would have humps in their noses, where we can actually do a three to four stage procedure. The first part of the procedure involves, if we look at the anatomy of the nose, moving from bone to cartilage to alar cartilage to the columella on the outside. And uh, what uh, Dr. Sherdick is actually doing is making an excision down through the um, cartilage. And if we can imagine the cartilage and the other cartilage in this sort of vertical pole, across it on either side is the sort of lateral aspects of the cartilage. So he's presently cutting out what in cross section will look like a T. And the whole secret of this technique to an extent is that the right and left lateral part of the cartilage, which could not normally be excised on the same side, we can do it contralaterally. So in other words, if the original excision is done through the cartilage, then the left part of the lateral cartilage can be um, easily seen from the left side and vice versa. The second part of the procedure involves what we call rotation. And um, after rotation, then we have suturing, where the opposing aspects of the cartilage are brought together. And then in order to Sorry about that, we'll have to edit out that bit. Um, in, in order to um, get projection, we have a thing called columnar sliding. And um, columnar sliding involves a technique where you normally would excise out at a 90 degree angle. And dependent on what the patient would require, this of course can be um, made a little less than that or a little more than that. And um, column miller sliding then involves um, moving the sort of tip forward or backwards in order to achieve the aesthetic effect.